Type 1 diabetes is a chronic illness that invades every aspect of your life. Around 2000, when my son was about 11 months old, my wife diagnosed him with type 1 diabetes. And we are suddenly thrown into this world. We had to really manage a chronic illness in an infant that's extremely difficult to manage in a child or an adult. The tools weren't even made for someone that small. Looking down the road, my wife and I work really well together to keep him healthy, but he's gonna walk out the door in 17 years and he's got to take this whole burden of this condition on himself. But by the time he's about seven years old, we were checking about 10 times a day. And then came the introduction of the continuous glucose monitor in our lives. And we got data every five minutes. About 30% of people with type 1 in the U.S. are on insulin pump therapy, and the rest still use injection therapy. The tools that we have for people with type 1 diabetes to manage their blood sugar levels are just simply blunt instruments. As a consequence, people get tremendously variable degrees of control. So the Bionic Pancreas basically is a small handheld device. It reads a glucose level, makes a therapeutic decision, doses insulin, and it repeats that cycle every five minutes. So there's no caregiver in the decision-making loop. My goal, of course, was to try and get something on David when he goes off to college. I think he's probably going to be a rising sophomore rather than a rising freshman. It's not too far off given the fact that I was shooting at this thing about a decade ago. <laughs> the solution itself is not the incredible part, that's the mathematical part. The incredible part is how much effort he's put into making this a possibility. It's extremely humbling to know that I was essentially the inspiration behind it. The beauty of it is that he could go to college and think about the things that he should be thinking about and not worrying about whether he's got a teaspoon of sugar in his blood right now or half a teaspoon of sugar in his blood right now. So I'll be happy to just embrace the, the normal worries that parents of teenagers have to accept <laughs> when they send their kids off to college.